Guys, do you want to know how to store your data on cloud using MongoDB? So MongoDB provides a very powerful tool known as MongoDB Atlas. Using that, you can store your data on cloud. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will walk you through setting up MongoDB Atlas, creating your first cluster and connecting it to MongoDB Compose. So guys, by the end of this video, you will be able to manage your database with ease and you don't have to be expert in the database so guys let's start the video so guys you can open any of your favorite browser and simply search for mongodb at last and you can see the official website of mongodb here you need to click on this link at last databases so guys it will redirect you to this page here you can see it showing at last databases so here we have a button get started we are going to click on this button so guys it will redirect you to again this page and here you can see it's showing us sign up or sign in so here you need to sign up if you want to create an account you can fill all this option and sign up or you can just sign up with google so i am taking the first option sign up with google so just click on this button it will redirect you to your google account just select that so guys after that it shows this page accept privacy policy so just click on this check box and click on submit button guys and once you click on submit button your account is created it's showing welcome page welcome to cloud database so now guys here you can see it's setting up your cloud database so guys these are some preferences detail it is asking if you really want to provide you can provide otherwise you can click on this skip preference button here it shows different uh, cluster options so i'm going to take free one and guys you can scroll down it shows different configuration details of your cluster like it shows name of the cluster where it is deployed the region name everything it shows so we don't have to change actually anything over here we need to simply click on this create deployment button so a cluster will be created with a name cluster zero and uh, once you click on button guys you are going to get this page so here it's showing the cluster detail so for accessing that cluster we require username and password so username and password is created if you wish to change password you can just change it and you can uh, just click on this button okay so after clicking on this button guys you can see it's showing us this page here connect to cluster so we have different option like uh, where you want to connect to your cluster whether you want to connect to mongodb compass mongodb shell or whether you want to connect to um, vs code or any other application so i'm taking mongodb compass so here guys once i click on that button it shows connection string for mongodb compass so you need to simply copy this connection string and later on guys we are going to paste this to our mongodb mongodb compose and click on this done button so here you can see in this connection string it's showing the username password and url everything so simply copy and click on done button okay so here uh, uh, creation of a cluster is done now what we will be doing we will be going to our mongodb compose because i would like to connect my cloud database to my local database also so that if i create anything locally it gets stored on cloud so so now here I'm just starting MongoDB Compose and here we have option of creating a connection. So I'm just clicking on this new connection button and you can see by default it provides the local host URL. So I'm going to replace it with the URL which we have copied from MongoDB Compose. Okay, just simply paste it and here click on save and connect button. So guys, now you can see here at the left side in the connection, we have local host along with MongoDB Atlas connection. Okay, so here you can see the connection has been created successfully now whatever databases or co uh, collections i'm going to create over here that will also be stored on my mongodb at last so if you are creating locally it will not be stored if you are using this connection that connection is for at last so then it will be stored in at last so guys now let's create a database so simply click on this create database option and provide the database name so i'm providing database name as demo db 
ਲਈ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੇਮ ਸੋ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੇਮ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਗਿਵਨ ਐਸ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਸੋ ਗਾਇਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਮਾਈ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਐਡ ਦ ਡਾਟਾ ਸੋ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਲਿੱਕ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਐਡ ਡਾਟਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੈਲੈਕਟ ਦ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਹੀਅਰ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਜੇਸਨ ਐਂਡ tabular format so i'm just going to take this tabular format and now the id has already been created i'm going to click on this plus button and i'm going to select add a new field so let's add a new field so first field i'm adding as name and here i'm just providing name and the data type is going to be string and then again i'm clicking on this plus button and the second field i'm going to provide as a roll number and some roll number i'm providing and i'm taking data type as int so this is done guys so guys i want only these fields in my collection so i'm just going to click on insert button and you can see guys uh, document has been inserted to my collection here it's showing me sunita and roll number 1 so um, creation of databases collection and document is done now i will be again going to my mongodb atlas and i'm going to show you that yes actually the data has been stored on cloud so here i am clicking on this cluster it is just uh, loading my cluster so guys it has opened my cluster and here it's uh, showing me this option so i'm going to just skip this and here you can see now under collection it's showing me demo db and students collection right so in my demo db database the student collection has been created and you can see the document which is added in that students okay so guys i have shown you that uh, i have added uh, documents to my collection using mongodb compose and it actually shows to your atlas now i will add one more document uh, through atlas and then we will check whether it is shown in mongodb compose or not so simply again here insert document option i'm selecting and i'm providing some uh, fields to this document the way we provided in mongodb compose so here name and some uh, salary and id i'm providing and i'm clicking on this insert button so uh, the document has been inserted and you can see here it's showing me this document inserted okay so uh, both way possible guys you can either create through atlas or add through uh, compose uh, so it reflects both the places so now uh, let me uh, take you to um, compose again and there we will check whether actually uh, the document is added or not so here we will be just refreshing our database so right click and click on refresh button and you can see here the document is shown right so even you can connect to mongodb shell also so here at the top right you can see mongodb shell button is there just click on that mongodb shell is another way of handling your mongodb queries uh, through a, a shell or console so here you can see it has connected to mongodb shell and it's showing the test database so i'm going to and create my own database using shell so here i'm just writing use and some other name uh, some other database name i'm giving so use demo okay so once i click on this use demo you can see my database is created and see the database is changed to demo now then uh, if you are creating database you need to add collections also so db dot create collection i'm just adding one collection employee to it and you can see okay message i am getting now show dbs i have written and you can see along with other databases it's showing me my demo database also guys now i'm going to close this shell and i'm going to show you that yes actually it has been created over here so here you can see uh, demo is created demo database now i'm going to my uh, mongodb atlas again and i'm just going to my cluster and here you can see now it's showing me both the database it's showing me uh, data database is two so you can see it's uh, reflecting over here also while uh, just uh, because it is cloud database so it is, it takes while for reflecting it so here you can see along with my demo db it's showing me demo database also right and under that we have emp collection is this way you can store your data on cloud you can handle it through mongodb compose or you can handle it through mongodb atlas so that's all guys i conclude my video i hope this video has really helped 
you if yes guys don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys you can reach me through my instagram also you can send me your query there also but before that you have to follow me i have shared my all social media link in description box you can join or follow me using uh, the social media link and guys share my video if you really enjoyed watching this video and very important for me guys your subscription if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my channel and guys i have another channel where i teach coding in hindi if you are really interested in learning coding in hindi you can subscribe to that channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys